Hello and welcome to this short video introducing the IBM API Connect Config Sync utility. A growing proportion of API Connect customers are looking to deploy more powerful hybrid cloud topologies and scenarios to support their business needs. Some examples of this include independent disaster recovery environments for better resilience, connections between software and SaaS deployments for hybrid scenarios such as burst to cloud and other use cases, Geo replication, in which independent instances of API Connect are deployed across the world to serve lo localized traffic, uh, and also side by side version upgrade to provide some additional flexibility and, and options for migration process. To support these various scenarios, we are today releasing the new Config Sync feature, which will enable flexible replication of state across API Connect instances. To in introduce Config Sync, uh, here's a, a a diagram showing a source environment of API Connect on the left hand side, labeled Deployment A, and a target, in target environment, Deployment B, on the right hand side. Config Sync, the blue box in the middle here, um, <coughs> is a utility that regularly synchronizes dynamic runtime states such as subscriptions, uh, consumer organizations, applications, and so forth between the two deployments. So, to make use of Config Sync, all, all that you require is a second API Connect environment you know, with the same APIs and products that have been configured, perhaps using your own CI CD automation. Uh, and Config Sync can be configured to run either as a cron job, uh, a, a re regularly scheduled job, uh, or as an externally invocable utility in order to provide the replication between the two different environments. The, the goal of Config Sync is to enable your consuming applications to use the same credentials to invoke APIs against either the source or, or the target environment so that they can flexibly fail over between the two different locations. So without further ado, let, let's see it live in action. OK, so for this demo scenario, we're going to demonstrate geo-replication using API Connect Config Sync. And we're going to do this with two global regions. We're actually going to use the API Connect uh, SaaS service running on AWS uh, in US East, uh, and, and a matching instance of the API Connect SaaS service running in, in EU West, which is based in London. Uh, but actually, this same pattern will work with any API Connect deployment that you like. Uh, and, and the scenario here is we have a whole bunch of applications uh, running globally, distributed across the world. Uh, in a realistic scenario, we'd probably put a, a global load balancer in front of these two regional endpoints that we're, we're looking to provide uh, availability and failover between. Uh, and the intent is when requests come in from the applications, the global bal load balancer will decide how to route those requests. It might be to route everyone to US East as, as a primary choice. Uh, it might be to distribute traffic evenly between the two regions. But the key thing is that um, at the point that we want to do a failover or uh, there's an, an issue, uh, an application should be able to successfully invoke the same APIs using the same credentials uh, against either regional endpoint. So let's show that live in action. So here we are in the API Connect uh, API Manager experience. Uh, left hand side of the screen here is our US East region. Uh, and the right hand side is uh, EU West, which we'll sh see in a second. Uh, so you can see I have a, a catalog here called Global, which is, is the catalog that we want to use to, to show this replicated uh, scenario. Uh, I have one product deployed called Ordering and Fulfillment. Uh, and if I flick across to our EU West area, you see I also have a, a, a catalog named Global here with that same API and product uh, deployed. So I, I, as a user, have, have configured those two things the same, so I have the same APIs and products in both. Uh, if I go back to the US, you can see that there's a, a consumer organization called Universal, Universal Exports, uh, of which I'm the owner. Uh, but very briefly, you can see that that same uh, consumer org does not exist in the uh, London deployment, in the US deployment. Uh, so what we'll show now is, is using Config Sync to replicate that uh, configuration from one environment to another, from one region to another, so that we can make the same API calls in both cases. Um, so if I start as a, <coughs> an API de or a, a application developer, um, so I'm going to log into the developer portal here in the US. So I'm going to log in as a consumer of APIs, and you can see that I, I can see that that API listed there, the, the one that we saw in, in the previous screen. And if I go in and create myself a new application, create myself a new app, delivery tracker, say. I'll save that, and this will generate me some brand new credentials. So, client ID and secret. I'm going to copy those now because we'll use them in a second. Uh, if I click OK, I can now go and subscribe my new application to the particular product. So I'm click in here, go and select the default plan, select my del delivery tracker application. Just process through to the end of this. 
There we go. So I've successfully subscribed my application to uh, this particular API. Uh, and if I click into the API, I can go and look at the operation that's exposed here, a uh, particular endpoint in, in the US, uh, which I go and take this across to my HTTP IE window. Uh, I've got the client ID in here, and I should be able to successfully invoke that. Uh, and you can see, yes, I get, get my 200 OK response back with the appropriate uh, uh, response. However, um, because I refresh this on the right-hand side, uh, that consumer org and the application and the subscription don't exist in the, the EU West L London deployment. Um, if I go and do that same thing, the same client ID against the EU West endpoint, um, I'll get an, an error saying, oh, you're, you're not authorized to do this. Um, so that, that, that's the, the, the thing we're, we're looking to address is to um, enable me to invoke that same API with the same credentials in London as I can do in, in the US. So now if I bring up our config sync window, so in this case I'm going to run the utility as a command line uh, just off, off my laptop. Uh, you can see some debug output that we'll, we'll look at in a second that shows it carrying out the replication. Uh, and very quickly you can see it runs through and see here creates the new consumer or creates a matching application, creates the subscription and, and updates the credentials to, to match what, what's happening on, on the US side. So now having, having done that, I should be able to go back successfully uh, and with the same credentials I can invoke against the target site and you can see that I've successfully uh, managed to invoke that same API um, against the, uh, the, the target side. So to summarize, the demonstration showed use of IBM API Connect Config Sync to provide regular incremental replication of consumer side states such as applications and subscriptions between two different API Connect environments, in this case to provide geo-replication configuration. We hope you've enjoyed this introductory video and we look forward to hearing your comments and feedback as you adopt the utility.